So to ensure that young people feel a sense of belonging when they come to Sheffield Futures, I think the first thing is a massive welcome and that's mainly down to the fantastic staff we have. I'm in the involvement team working to make sure young people's voices are heard on local, regional and national levels. Just making sure that they feel involved, giving them a safe, comfortable place to go to. Just to show them that there is someone there that's always there. They need a person that's open-minded and a person that's actually willing to help. Just let them open up as a person, you know, give them the opportunity to express his feelings or you know what he's going through, give him that little push to that base that help him to move forward. Sometimes the work wouldn't get done um, if it wasn't for volunteers because of the cost implications. It's a really really great way of meeting new people. Getting to know people, talk about their problems and put them into a situation where they can just be themselves. It gives them a sense of purpose as well. A sense of something to do, a place to feel safe, it's that first bit of confidence. Giving that young person responsibility. <laughs> it's enjoyable because you put yourself out there. I, I think the changes to the benches are spot on. There's less weeds and the benches don't look old. Great! Everything's going right on track. Uh, there's been some really positive work that young people do in our community. We still care about our community. There are a lot of young people that are out there that really do actually want to make a difference. I think that it's really important to be able to give something back to where you live, not just to sort of live there, but also to be able to make, make a positive contribution to your community. Volunteering with Sheffield Futures is a great opportunity to actually give something back to your community and your city. I think I've helped people like, gain hope in their situation. Feel the reward of giving something back to your local community. I've had fun taking part, um, met lots of new people and it's helped me to get to know the city more. A variety of different opportunities and to get involved. So to anybody interested in volunteering with Sheffield Futures... I'd say go for it. I'd just say go for it really. Get involved and feel part of something. Just have the eagerness to get stuck in. No matter how much time you have available to give, there will be a volunteering project out there for you. It's given me a purpose and a structure to my week way more positive for me than I actually even expected it to be. Sheffield Futures, they're very friendly, they're very supportive and um, I definitely recommend them. I've enjoyed the fact that I'm actually dealing with people. If you're looking to actually give something back and you're looking to help out people around the city, there's no better charity to work for. You know, people from different backgrounds, different cultures, different ethnicities can basically be in one. People from all different areas, all different social backgrounds, who've had all different experiences come together. And I felt like working with Sheffield Futures who deal with people from all ages and all parts of the community was a great chance to give something back to the city that I love. It opens up the community's perspective. It helps bring people together, I guess, fundamentally. I think there's a real problem at the moment with people being told that they're not ill enough to get treatment or they're not ill enough to get help. He might think it's nothing big and he might just say, you know, you know, get over it and just, he might not give him the actual support that he might need. If that's debilitating for you, that's debilitating for you and I don't think anyone has the right to tell you that you don't have a problem there because obviously there's a problem. Is they need a person that's open-minded and a person that's actually willing to help, give him that little push to that base that help him to move forward. I do love dealing because I've seen changing the lives of students their horizons change, their outlook changes, their confidence changes. That's fantastic and very, very worthwhile. There are fundamental principles to achieving the award, but for me, the most important is that the award belongs to a young person and they choose what, where, when, why and how long they're going to do each activity. And we at Sheffield Futures are very proud indeed to be able to support this work. We're really, really proud of it. As a city, it's really important that our young people are doing these types of things. How are they in a special needs respite centre? Overall, it was great. On behalf of us all, I'd like to thank you for being so inspirational. The reason I'm doing the Mountain Mayhem is because we want to try and create bursary funds so we can get you know, people, more people involved in the DAB. Uh, I'm doing the ride because uh, I want to raise money for young people from all backgrounds to be able to take part in the award and cost not to be a barrier for them. I think coming to Sheffield Futures, it opens so many different doors. Well, I think, you know, Sheffield Futures, you know, when you look at it, they've been so successful in all these projects that they've done so far. We've got a lot of friendly, passionate staff who are willing to give that all to projects. Because it's going to help so many young people.